Next speaker will be Professor Yoshida from Japan, and he's talking about Doppler geography with OCT. Professor Yoshida. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy to be here. And uh, I'm Akitoshi Yoshida, uh, Asahikawa Medical University in Japan. I have been uh, studying uh, retinal blood flow for more than 30, uh, 30 years, okay? And at the beginning, I used to work with the Gilbert Fick Skepens and also uh, George Benedict, MIT. Uh, regarding the significance of measuring ocular blood flow is, like, for example, result of the laser Doppler velocimetry, we studied diabetic retinopathy, uh, retina vein occlusion, A AMD, glaucoma, and others. However, laser Doppler velocimetry was not perfect. Retinal blood flow should be parabolic in this technique and needs patient good fixation ability. And rate of the successful measurement is not so high. So, we first, to develop a Doppler OCT, DOCT, flow meter in 2012. At that time, uh, this is the uh, uh, instrument, I mean, based on the Topcon 3D OCT 2000. And it was not so easy to measure. This is a, uh, one of my colleague, Dr. Tani. Uh, at that time, he was only be able to uh, manipulate this instrument. So, if you look at the papers, previous Doppler OCT instruments have been uh, reported by very scientific, very, very scientific uh, doctors, as shown in this slide. But no clinical use Doppler OCT, DOCT instrument was available. If you think about advantage of a DOCT measurement, since we have our OCT, OCT can, of course, uh, take a structure image, and also OCT can get the functional image, and from two, the, these two, we have a flow image. Now, talking about uh, two, 2012, manual alignment was needed in this technique. Uh, this is the people, this is the, the center of the beam, and if you shine like this, and the angle between incident beam and vessel close to nine, 90 degree, no signal is, is going to be get. So in that time, appropriate uh, condition was needed just just a little bit, uh, you know, bend the, this beam and create uh, something like 80 degree by manual. Now, uh, very recently, we developed fully automated Doppler OCT, auto DOCT, uh, 2016, this is the one. Everything is automatic. So I, I'm gonna show you the uh, uh, with videotape how, to, how easy to get the retina 
absolute blood flow. This is the one. This is Topcom based. Everything is auto. All right? We decided to uh, do the segmental blood flow instead of uh, circular. And as you know, uh, direction of the vessel, uh, I mean, uh, blood flow is different. That's why we can get these image. This is the precise description of our auto DOCT. And we have to do uh, four things in order to get the absolute blood flow. First, uh, one, select scan location, auto alignment, Doppler angle estimation, and measurement. All right? This is the eye, and this is, we have to do the manual of this. And second, appropriate Doppler angle is automatically cal calculated. This is automatic. So we don't have to worry about this. It said 80. It's, it's OK. Now, live flow imaging, we check. Then finally, push the button to get absolute retina blood flow. It takes only three seconds. This technique shows both absolute retinal blood flow and structure, but not only this, we can get retina blood velocity profiles. I will show you later. This is the absolute blood velocity value, multiple vessels at the same time. This is the blood velocity profile inside the vessel. And we used this technique to cat eye first. All right. Uh, DOCT shows better CBs compared with laser Doppler, which I invented and, I, and Canon took the uh, patent and made it. Now, to use the human eye, a little bit different because we have eye movement. All right, uh, this is the uh, CB of a red blood cell, red retina blood flow. Look at, look, look at, this is a very, very good uh, reproducibility. So, advantage, it non-invasively measures the different difference in blood flow between healthy eyes and diseased eye because it's absolute measurement, not a relative, like a laser speckle. Okay, this is the glaucomatous eye with single hemifield damage. I'm not personally interested in glaucoma, I'm a retina, but you know, by looking, here is a NFLD, and this is the Humphrey field. Uh, since I'm not familiar with the, uh, you know, glaucoma, I always use like this. Mm -hmm. uh, around NFLD, we have a scotoma. Okay. Now I am now interested in this kind of thing. We measured this blood flow in the artery and this blood flow in the artery. So look at this, please. This one is blood flow is 1.92 microliter per minute. So this one is uh, 7.12 microliter per minute. It means that the area of damaged field, retina blood flow is extremely significant decreased. So which may cause another progression of the glaucomatous 
Scott Homer. So, uh, you know, we did 31 uh, cases and the paper is, is under preparation. Second, I want to do more. So, I put the angiogram in this auto uh, OCT. So, I would like to do everything. Uh, blood flow and positile curve and profile and angiogram. All in one. So, this is the ultimate OCT for ocular circulation. We investigated retinal blood flow reaction during elevated IOP using auto DOCT and Doppler OCT angiography in cats. Okay, increased IOP. Uh, this is the, uh, the picture of the Doppler OCT angiography. 10, 60, 70. I'm not satisfied with this. You know, this is a all or none stuff. Abrupt change, okay? Should be, should be not like this. Okay. This is another, this is the same, same experiment. IOP increased, auto Doppler OCT. This is the real blood flow measurement, artery, vein decreased, gradual change. <coughs> Should be like this. So, you know, I, uh, when I uh, focused on the uh, concentrate on the at IOP 60 millimeter mercury, around 50% reduction in blood flow measured by auto DOCT. On the other hand, at IOP 60, no remarkable change in OCT and geography. Uh, there's a big discrepancy and we had a work on that to compare between two and right now we are reached to the point that this could be more gradual change. Uh, because of the patent, uh, I'm not, I, I, I'm sorry I cannot uh, tell you today. In summary, OCT can be used for multi-analysis including blood flow and anatomical change and so on. This is another hint. Further study is needed to show the full poten uh, potential of our prototype auto DOCT. Finally, I would like to say that uh, in some country, a uh, new president said uh, something like America first, but in terms of the making a, like a ophthalmology uh, equipment, maybe Japan could be the first and this company could be the first. Thank you very much.